Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Frostpunk. As you can see, this is a preview build of the game. It does have one of the scenarios available to play. And that is what we are going to be hopping into uh, right now. I played for maybe 30-40 minutes off screen just to try to get uh, the hang of the controls and the UI. Uh, but other than that, we're going to be going into this basically afresh. And I'm going to leave the... Uh, the customization sliders just on medium seems like the right thing to do a new home we fled from london and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north on the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered a handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned why is no one here did any of the other people survive the blizzard are there any others out there whatever we do we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. I love the audio of this game. I gotta say, I love the audio. So, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to all the other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some skull, some skull, some coal, and start the generator. I'm from New York, so I, I kind of I kind of like the snow and the sound of like a a raging blizzard outside. I don't know. Now that I live in Florida, I kind of miss this this kind of weather. You know, apocalypse. So, uh, right off the bat, this is our generator. We start with this. We start with a stockpile, and I think eighty yeah eighty colonists, uh, fifty workers. Uh, well, we got fifty workers, fifteen engineers. I think those fifteen children, the little mittens. So, uh, first things first, we are going to send um, some people off to gather some coal. And we're just going to max that out. So, how many? We got 35 workers left. So, what I'm going to do is two coal piles and uh, some wood. Well, that's steel. Our wood crates. And that's going to leave five people left over. And we'll put them on steel for... Well, no, that's wood crates too. We'll put them on steel for now, but we'll pull them off when we need them. And we'll unpause. Uh, during the day, you know, we can see that they're they're walking out there during the daylight hours. Uh, the work schedules it just kind of ticks up whether they're out there or not. It's just kind of the visuals to go along with the game, but just like the the visuals of the people trudging through the snow, I like that. Little kids playing, waving their parents off, and uh, because we do have some coal stored up, we can get the generator at least started. So, uh, steam level one, turn the generator on. This is the area it's providing heat to. Temperature. Uh, camera controls, pretty simple. Um, resources and workflow, also pretty standard. We've got coal, timber, steel, and I think those are... It's like steam, steam gauges, steam something. Steam cores. Raw food and meals, simple as that. Worker management's pretty simple. The temperature management is super cool, though. So far, I am loving this. And the weather does change throughout the game. I have it on Fahrenheit, so apologies to... Uh, well, you know what? Let's just set it to Celsius. I think at this point, over half of my audience is European, so... There we go. Minus 20 C. It's cold out. Not as cold as it could be, though. I mean, New York got colder than this. Yeah. Tutorial summary. Oh, that's just the summary of the tutorial we've done so far. So, uh, right now we have 80 homeless people. So we are going to tell them to start building some tents. But you know what? Before that, uh, I'm going to lay down a couple streets. Uh, because I just want to get this kind of lined up nice. Yeah, like on this angle here. Lay down a couple streets like that. Uh, and then we'll start our construction. One, two, three. That's uh, tents for 30 people. Let's see, we used up some of that wood. Coal. I believe we go to our economy. Uh, we, we will have to get food soon. Generator hums with reassuring warmth, but it shouldn't be taken for granted. If gender goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of your coal reserves. Now, food! 
There'll be no city if we all starve to death. Secure a way to produce raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay. Something we're going to have to work on. We're going to get some shelter down, then we're going to work on that. Construction is easy. Uh, time management. Let's see. Construction. I know I'm going over this pretty quickly, but these controls are all very um, standard. Very standard and easy to work with. Uh, the only, like, unique mechanic is the radial placement around the generator, which makes sense considering our, like, our heat issue. So these are the roads I built out. Oh, I was like, what was that? That was the, um... That was the, the, the horn signifying the end of the work, uh, the work period. We're gonna throw that in right there, like that. Actually, it doesn't line up, it doesn't line up as perfectly as I would have hoped. At least half the people have houses now, though. And you can see that during the, uh, the off hours, the coal burns, but we're not actually producing anything. We'll miss in healthcare. Alright. Cold uh, homes or workplaces cause people to get sick. Frostbite. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in the medical posts, but the gravely ill need an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. Radical treatment allows the gravely ill to be treated in the medical posts, but some of them may be left uh, mangled as amputees. Or sustained life allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated uh, in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. That's another thing that's cool about this. You got you get to pick the laws of how you want to manage your colony. Um, amputees will be treated immediately. Hope will rise slightly. Thirty percent of the gravely treated uh, gravely Ill and treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. And if I remember correctly, amputees don't do any work until later on in the game. So I'm actually going to do that, though. I'm going to do radical treatment. New law. A new law has cool. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to throw down another section of road just along the, uh, the back here. See, it's really easy to do. That. Snaps right to the grid. All right, and we also the other thing we needed to do was get the food buildings down, uh, but I ran out of wood, so we're gonna have to wait. Right, wait until the work hour, the workday starts at eight, I believe. Yep. All right. Uh, so we're gonna put in a cookhouse right here. I'm actually going to put. You can see that different buildings have different sizes. That's why I split this on one side and the other. Um, the cookhouse will not work if the uh, temperature gets too low. So that's why I'm going to try to keep it in towards the center here. There we go. And um, these little guys right here signify changes in temperature. Day-night cycle makes perfect sense. Uh, extra, um, you can change laws. You can set, set work shifts to day or night or 24-hour emergency work shifts if things are getting critical. So there's that and the hunter's hut. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is start another radial road back this way, just to try to get things a little planned out. Let's see, I'm laying those down. Keep that road going a little bit, actually, because you can see it snaps right to that grid, like, perfectly. Makes it nice and simple, and we'll do that. So this side is, like, set for larger buildings, this side is set for smaller buildings. Um, but the hunter's hut needs 20 wood. We're almost there. All right, 20 wood, and we're going to put that up over on this outside area here. Uh, I don't think it, it's going to be colder out here, but it also doesn't need, doesn't have to be. Um, uh, I don't, I don't, it's, every, everybody of course wants to be warm, but I, I don't think it'll freeze and stop working. The work day is up. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. We'll need a workshop to design uh, plans for more advanced buildings. Okay. Cool. Oh, what do we got here? 
No roofs over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We have to do something about it. I'll provide shelter. You'll have two days to provide shelter for 20 people. Or two days to provide shelter for 40 people. I'll be, I'm gonna, I'll be able to pro provide shelter. So I can do one right now. I'm gonna be putting these out here. It's gonna. This is not gonna be as cool, uh, warm over there. It's gonna be okay, but it's not gonna be as great. Especially when the uh, the temperature changes. This is all gonna start getting really uncomfortable. What do we got here? The wisdom of the crowd. When facing demands, remember this: people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. I'll bear that in mind. Cool. So we've got uh, 50 of our 80 people housed. Uh, this hunter's hut needs to be hunting. The hunters hunt at night. You see that they work from 1800 to 6 a.m. And that's probably them going out right now. introduce new laws you can I think you have you can introduce a new law like once a day or so extra rations for the ill or overcrowding right now I don't feel like I need to do anything specific Let's see we can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of food or food additives we can add sawdust to our meals to make them more filling although not exactly tasty or healthy it's like Leningrad up in here but right now, I don't think we need to do anything drastic. Food and hunger. Uh, hunter's hut. Hot houses. Cook houses. Cook houses turn raw food into uh, into meals that can be consumed. Hot houses, I think, are basically like um, greenhouses. And the hunter's hut, obviously, they go out into the wild and hunt, I'm guessing, polar bears. Uh, elk. I don't know. Uh, what else? Uh, snow, snow hares. I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure what animals uh, would live in this environment. Yeah, I don't think you actually see them. And yes, the hunters work uh, during the night. 6 p.m., 6 a.m. We've got two sick, but we do have... Oh, we not you know what? We have not built the, the medical post yet. We'll have to do that tomorrow. As soon as we get some more wood in. Everybody's waiting. I think it auto um, slows down. What it like during like a shift change or during a uh, with a uh, pop up critical shortage, number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. A short burst of effort could help us uh, gather necessary resource. Uh, I'm actually gonna say no. It's almost time to get to work, so we're gonna get that going in a hot second or a cold second. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. Are we not? Oh, you know what? We ran it. We're not. That's why. Uh, wood crates. There we go. We, we didn't have anybody working on it. My bad. We ran... This one ran out of resources. 25 is all we need. We'll get it. Alright. And what size is this? It's a small one, so it can... Uh, yeah. We can pop in over here. Coal pile depleted. Both coal piles have been depleted, so... Uh, oof. Let's get some more people working. Uh, on that, there's more coal over here. Max that out. Oof. The work day is up. Um, I've got engineers working on this, which I don't need right now. So let's get it on regular workers and get the engineers over here. On the medical post. That'll help out a lot. Okay, so we still got the homeless problem, uh, but we can keep working on that, people. Tents. Keep cranking out those tents. Hunter's hut. Comfortable. Um, cookhouse closed at this time of day. Oh, okay. It's just not on right now. All right. We're doing fine, all things considered. Wrap up well. The frost is here. 
an operative. Too cold. Must be at least chilly. So this one is not going to work. So this building will not work. Ah, oh, you know what happened? Temperature went down. Now, I think I can put this on overdrive. I don't know if it'll expand out enough to... Uh... So I got like a day. It's not that long, really. Put it on overdrive. Keep it working as long as we can. All right, and we got... How many more of these do we need? Two more. All right. And one more after that. And everybody will have at least some shelter. Citizen became gravely ill with frostbite. Yeah, I know. We're working on that. But we only have a day uh, of this temperature before it, it drops back. Uh, well, it comes back up a little bit. So hopefully we'll be okay. Promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Requires raw food. Yep, we're out of food right now, but th that's because it's uh, the hunters need to go out and do their job. And there they go. Just kind of disappear into a little cave. And if this, if th we overheat this for too long, or overdrive it for too long, it explodes. So maybe wait until... We're going to have to turn it off now. Temperature goes down. Okay. So one thing at a time. All right. Food. Working. Coal. Wood. All right. We just got to wait for the temperature to come back up and we'll be okay. So in the meantime, we are going to work. We're going to get a workshop up. And we're going to start researching. All right. Sign it a couple engineers. And what's a steam hub? What does this do? When powered by the generator, these contraptions create uh, additional small heat zones around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per hour. I am going to do that, actually. Because getting another one up over here to keep like these areas warmer would be nice. Uh, and who else is not? We got a bunch of unemployed people. You might as well be gathering some, some wood or some steel. We're going to be able to use that eventually. Keep going. One of our people have died. All right. Workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way to address this problem is to put our children to work. Uh, but over here, I think, is what we need to work on. First, death. One of our people have just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. All right. So we can build a cemetery. Um, hope will rise slightly. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You'll have to establish a cemetery. Or, new building snow pit. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. That is what we are going to do. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. We are just going to build a snow pit way out here. Unfortunate, but the temperature is going to rise pretty soon, so I have confidence in our ability. No, oh, another person died. Family torn apart. Woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can, madam. We need to not freeze to death first. Wow, we're already down three people. Snow pit's been established. AKA the corpse pile. I think we'll make it though. The temperature's gonna go up in a few hours. God damn it. We're, we're down six people now from frostbite. I honestly didn't think it'd be that bad. Hopefully the temperature rise will, uh, well, you know, it's because this thing's offline. Hopefully that'll bring it back up online. A lot of discontent, not a lot of hope. There we go. Alright, now these people will be treated correctly. Whew. 
Not good. Not good. Alright, that's it. That's all, that's all. We lost six people because of that cold wave. Introduce a new law. Anything interesting? Let's see. Organ transplants, child labor, emergency shifts, fighting arena. Actually, I think we're okay right now in terms of laws. Steam hub researched. Yay. Alright. Um we need to be start we need to start exploring, so we're gonna research the beacon. And oop, no, we are going to build a steam hub. Oh, does it it goes on the roads? Well, I love that. Build this like all the way around here like this. And then what we're gonna do, ooh, I keep clicking the wrong button. Steam hub, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ploop it like right here. It's a little close to, it's a little close in, but I just wanna make sure this stays warm. We lost six people in that cold wave. That's gonna help keep this area warm. That's good. Hunters are going out. Food is low. We are going to have to pass some food laws. Soup available. Okay, so cookhouse. Soup. Five rations from... Okay. Five rations from two food. I think that's what that said. Alright. Discontent's pretty high. Bad health care. Yeah. Well, these people will be back up soon. Shame to have lost six people. Are there actual corpses in here? It looks like there are just corpses in there. Work time. Get back to work. All right, here we go. So we need a new research. Uh, I'm going to, well, hunters, yeah, hunters gear. Up to 20 raw food per hunt, yeah. We need more food, and we need to get that beacon up. See, the beacon is a pretty good size one, so it's going to go over on this side. So we need to be able to send people out. That, the, the art style is just nice, isn't it? I, I'm really enjoying this game. All right, we're long, no longer lost and blind. Now our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us, the Frostwind. I liked this game when I first started playing it, and then I got to this part right here, and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is, this is a thing. This is, this is gonna be fun. Steampunk, uh, it's got steampunk, it's got apocalypse, it's got cold weather, which I like. And then, on top of that, it's got an overland map. Boom. So we are gonna send some scouts. I think I click on this guy? Yeah, send some scouts. Yeah, there we go. 11 hours to arrive. So we'll send out some scouts to try to find the lost expedition. All right, then we'll zoom back in. They'll be there in 11 hours. Little steampunk blimp there. Woman in despair. She's sitting in the snow, put, snow pit, holding her dead husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should have agreed to give people proper burials after all. Make an exception and bury him. I did what I had to do. Sorry, I did what I had to do. Somebody has to make the tough choices here. Somebody has to do it. Ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars into the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in the Frostland. Women who came forward earlier. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We need a win here. We need a win, damn it. Do 
21 sick people. Urgent need of treatment. Captain, our people have gathered to protest. The number of untreated sick keeps rising. We seem to ignore the problem. They demand we take action. Open a medical post right away. Two days of I promise the sick will be treated. Have you have three days to admit one third of the sick for treatment? All right, we're gonna we're gonna promise this one. We'll build another medical post. And um, it'll be inside the frozen the, the non frozen area here. So let's get that up. Try. Hopefully that'll help. And we're gonna have to assign some people to it. We got a lot of unemployed people. Um, engineers right now. Let's pull this back to to one. And three. Hope rises. We gotta get these people treated. Scouts have reached the Lost Expedition. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. We enter the camp. Uh, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until you couldn't uh, until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Escort the survivors to the city. Send the survivors to the city. So we have four children, nine engineers, and 22 workers. We're going to do that. Oh, city. That's going to help out a lot, because we needed the engineers. Do I have engineers? I have more engineers sitting around. So, like... Engineers are all working. Five, five... We're doing fine, all things considered. Yeah, don't mind the frozen corpses. It's okay. It's fine. Scouts from number one scout party have returned safely to the city. Now we need more... Oh, look at them coming in. Now we need more housing, but we have a larger workforce to, to pull from, which is great because we need um, more food. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. We uh, But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. We'll look for others. So, first things first. Max there. Uh, Max engineers here. Or you know what? Uh, this is a cookhouse? We don't need engineers here. We do regular workers here. There we go. That, that was my mistake there. And we do have some some uh good room to build nope not that people tents that'll keep uh that'll keep the new people good to go search for others we found a trail leading into the wilderness we should follow it all right but we are gonna leave this right here we we lost six people but found a bunch and we've got a nice little colony started so thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying the video. If you are a subscriber, also hit that little notification bell next to the sub button. That'll ensure that you get all notifications when video goes live, not just sub notifications when videos go live. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.